average person today feels is i mean at least the hoteliers and those connected with the tourism industry is that there is a bit more stability that they can look forward to because the law and order situation is better okay that i'll give i i will grant that the sort of protests and and uh, the possibility of trouble is a lot less now than it was earlier polarizing environment we live in today had already people sending me dm saying that i got scared of reviewing article 370 having a preconceived notion of what i will feel about the movie it's so insane where a movie and its political leanings is going to dictate whether you like or hate a person now irrespective article 370 of course has people divided even before its release these include individuals already dismissing it as propaganda for the ruling party others who consider it to be an accurate representation of what transpired before the abrogation of article 370 and the minority that simply went in for the film hoping to see a compelling political thriller I would hope who actively follow this channel fall in the last category. Article 370 directed by Aditya Soha Zambade is a fictionalized take on real events that took place from 2015 to 2019 mainly regarding the special status of Jammu and Kashmir shedding light on the assassination of militant Burhan Wahi the Pulwama attack the Balakot retaliation and the threats and environment that followed up to the abrogation of Article 370 the film is a political thriller showcasing Yami Gautam in the lead role playing the role of Zuni Haksar the head of the NIA that gets full reign of operations in the state to make sure that unruly elements are absolutely curtailed here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch article 370 in theaters or not the underwhelming aspects caricaturish portrayals and everything the ruling party does is perfect it would be naive if you deny that some of the portrayals of this film are intended more to make the screenplay more convenient than being an accurate portrayal of what may have transpired see whenever movies that are hugely charged politically are made they usually present every decision made by the government as a master stroke and this is where some nuance gets lost this is not only pertaining to the abrogation of article 370 whose implementation has led to even an ex chief minister like omar abdullah recently admitting to a stark decline of violence violence and an increase in economic growth in the valley but the government for every other decision in this movie is also lauded or given a pat on the back demonetization is casually referenced in a conversation as having curtailed terrorism funding and money trails for militants jawarlal nehru is considered to be a deterrent to jnk acceding to india and most elements across the border including the pakistani army the isi and its generals are possibly the most dim-witted fools ever to grace the earth politicians played by raj zutshi who is clearly modeled as ex chief minister omar abdullah is showcased as a character more comfortable with anarchy in his state rather than peace political leanings aside there seems to be no pragmatic bone in his body just a power hungry politician wanting chaos frustrated at the very fact that he is under house arrest lastly a journalist clearly signifying a known face from ndtv who thought that she got into harvard as a lecturer is presented casually prancing around the pmo's office for intel she has such free reign in political offices that you wonder how she is just casually questioning those those in positions of power for narrative purposes to create villains some of these characters do come across as caricaturish the only difference being that unlike a movie like kerala story where almost all the dialogues are hugely inflammatory and are designed to enrage and divide an already polarized indian public This film has only a few stumbling blocks and actually holistically comes across as an engaging political thriller the good Cinematography and score. If the makers truly have a flex, it is when the film is referenced as being made by the creators of Uri. Just like the 2019 film, this movie is shot extremely professionally. Something that is missing in films that focus on current events, especially achievements of the ruling party. Siddharth Dina Vasini captures Kashmir with an overcast, almost reflective of the burden God's paradise has been subject to since the 1990s. The grey color palette is reflective of a land that has been devoid of joy for quite some time, and the violence that surround characters are reflective of the same dread visually 
I must commend music producer Shashwat Sachdev, previously having killed it with Uri and Attack, and who really puts his best foot forward in elevating sequences where the tension is brewing and one anticipates an onslaught of attacks. You really do feel a sense of anxiety in many of these sequences of combat, and it has to do with the beating drums, almost reflective of a rising heartbeat, as the NIA or the CRPF jawans find themselves at crossroads with militants and separatists. Me to je phir milungi has to be my favorite. from the album that plays in the most emotional sequence of the film something that i will expand upon later tight screenplay and supporting cast one of the major reasons why article 370 develops into an engaging thriller is its tight screenplay that doesn't deviate the attention into random subplots and actually acts as a progressive linear story till the 5th of august of 2019 the screenplay is divided into chapters and each has a significant contribution up until the execution of the abrogation of article 370 from the assassination of buran wani the individual journey of zuni haksar and her constant conflict with her superiors the political changes in the valley as governor's rule is imposed how the nia deals with the angry mob the clear intention of the separatists the sentiment of the common kashmiri the pmo and its active participation on several moving elements all of this tie in very efficiently so that there isn't a sense of lethargy that creeps in with you as a viewer i must say that from the supporting cast priya mani as rajeshwari swami nathan in the office of the pmo is formidable in her part and so is vaibhav tatvavadi as a CRPF soldier who shares a close bond with Zuni Arun Govil as the prime minister and Kiran Karmarkar as the home minister got the most mass treatment in this film developing several moments of hooting and cheering in my theater the ambush sequence by the CRPF jawans in the house where militants may be protected is brilliantly choreographed there is one sequence which slightly is over the top giving Zuni an almost invincible status as a literal grenade blows up right next to her but she walks unscathed but other than that the ambush and action sequences are really understated and effective i must say that this film from an emotional quotient point of view actually explored the pulwama attack and the sheer loss that the indian government felt in a way more emotional manner than in fighter political thriller and yami gautam deserves love The second half of the film really does take its political themes in high gear where the specific clauses of article 370 and its evolution since 1952 gets explored. This is educational and interesting from a viewer standpoint as the movie does not restrict itself just to be an action thriller of the NIA curtailing conflict in the valley but aims to specifically talk about the article and why it was used as a crutch for many to circumvent being under the scanner both politically and legally. While the film is a celebration of the move made by the government it is anchored by a very confident and convincing performance by Yami Gautam who deserves so much love as an actor by the way in our discussion of female actors of Hindi cinema Yami is so often sidelined and is never brought up in the discussion of the mainstream while having every possible quality of what it takes to be a star range versatility looks physical capability but here we are seeing an actor who has consistently delivered with her performances and yet gets the tag of being turned is underrated she brings a sensitivity to zuni and on the contrary her eyes are filled with rage in several sequences noticing just the incompetence around her yami really does a splendid job as the lead her visible frustration at the ongoing instability in the valley was something that you wholeheartedly empathize with making article 370 despite some hiccups a solid political thriller for you to visit in the theaters this weekend and that was a video guys Write down in the comments below what you thought about Article 370. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handles are right in front of you. Follow me at Jamie Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.